Uh, hey guys, uh, Blitz here. Uh, as you guys know, the new Yakuza TV show trailer came out today, and I just want to like give my overall thoughts on it and give you guys a little analysis and see whatever info we can get because there is surprisingly a lot more info than I expected. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> First of all, we have the international trailer. So, I'll play it. So, let, let's start at the beginning. First of all, let's unpack this here. We got a whole bunch of screenshots from Yakuza 1. So, we got uh, Kazuma, Majima, the Gambler, uh, Nishiki, the one goon from the final mob battle. Kazuma again, the Shimano fight. But I'm going to be honest, that has the exact same lighting as the original, so I thought it was the original Yakuza 1. Then we got another mob fight, Kiri saying Kagata Goi, and stuff like that. And then, uh, Yayoi. So, yeah. I was, at first, I thought this was, like, uh, the florist's, like, uh, security room, but with Yaksa footage. So, yeah. And I don't know what this is. Kind of, kind of looks like the Shinto priest from Ishin, but I doubt it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, based on the series. Looking at the back here, it might just be like BTS stuff, like behind the scenes. Here we've got like, uh, money, so it's the Kiryu scene where he meets up with Kazuma before. Uh, Nishiki shoots Dojima. We have this scene of Kiryu getting his tattoo. Now, I'm going to bring up the discussion that there is a lot of emphasis on Kiryu's tattoo, so they are going to, like, build on the Like a Dragon. Um, <laughs> I bet this is a fan. Uh, pretty much Yakuza 0 2, but set in the same years as Yakuza 1. And then we got more scenes of Kiryu. We've seen like two other pictures before this of Kiryu in this like same dark blue broom. Think of it, maybe it's him training for the Colosseum. Very good, like, uh, conspiracy theory about it. But yeah, you see Kiryu bleeding from his tattoo, which I'm gonna be honest, kind of and like, especially that, that part. Then we have our first look at Nishiki. Yes, 10 years in the joint, man. Uh, this is a lot. First of all, uh, Nishiki's not wearing his white suit in this TV show. 
which I'm going to be honest, kind of a shit move. But I guess, I guess they wanted to make something original. Yeah. But here's the weird part. We look at the top left and that's one of Nishiki's renders from Kiwami 1, him and his white suit. It's either that or might just be like another character. But like, this is Nishiki's suit from Kiwami 1. I uh, don't know if I'll edit this, but I'll put like a picture of the render. But yeah, pretty much this is Nishiki's suit. Why isn't he wearing it? So that is what I'm very confused about. This photo here, it might be Kazuma, but I'm not too sure because of the shirt here not being very visible. Could be another character, but I can't. I don't remember anyone on the top of my head. More tattoo. I'm not sure about this, but I think they want to show Nishiki's tattoo as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe they just tattoo like very close up. Like this could have been the fin for the koi, but I don't know. Anyways. Oh, missed that. We got Kamurocho, and here's the funny thing. I don't think this is being filmed in Kabukicho, unlike the first film adaptation, because the gate, the Kamurocho gate is different. I think this doesn't say Kabukicho, it actually says Kamurocho, and everything just looks very vibrant, but it's very vibrant, but dark, so... I'm very, cu I'm very curious how they play out Kamurocho and how it's going to be filmed, because I don't think this is Kabuki Cho, but we'll get to it. Well, I don't know. Anyways, this is a uh, wide view, and then there's this. The I don't know why, but it reminds me of like. Uh, the things you'll see in, like, Sonic Frontiers and, like, the towers from Zelda Breath of the Wild. But, if, this might be Millennium Tower, which, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of weird. It, not unsettling, but, like, it's different. <laughs> it's different in the architecture, and if this is Millennium Tower, then I do hope they make... Or, like, give the Millennium Tower the justice it does deserve. And, yeah, very blue. It, I feel like this show's gonna have, like, a Kiwami 2, like, situation. Where they just put, like, a blue or green filter. And, yeah. And then we got the Kamurocho City Lights. Yeah. And then, we get to another shot. I think this might be Stardust, or maybe like a revamped Serena. And I say that because I think this guy, if they really wanted to, they could pull this off as Yuya, even though he does not look anything like Yuya. But we could have like, those are the Stardust hosts, and then here's just some like clients, and then yeah. I feel like this would be a pretty good Stardust. Then, we get to the Colosseum bit. I want to talk about the Colosseum because this is, like, very important to the trailer. I feel like this Colosseum is kind of like the Cordial TV show now. If you haven't seen the Cordial TV show, first of all, quick plug, you got a couple translated episodes on my channel. But... I feel like they're going to play out the 1995 segments of the show in the way that they filmed the Cordio TV series. Now, what I, what I say is that like this, the 1995 segments are going to evolve around this Coliseum, kind of like how the Cordio TV series evolves around Dragon Heat. And, like, that underground arena. So, we, 
we obviously have Kiryu and some other guy fighting. And then we got like bodyguards and everything. But yeah, this looks very much like the Kodio TV series, which I don't think is a good place for Yakuza, but I bet uh, the I bet the director would find a way to make it work. But yeah, I feel like if they really wanted to, they could film this like the Kodio TV series, but I don't think that would be very good for the Yakuza series. <laughs> Got a couple shot with some money. Oh, now we just got like another shot of what I think is Nishki in his full suit, which is just like a normal suit with the Nishki armor family. Now, the interesting thing is. Yes, Nishiki isn't wearing his white suit, but also this guy in the corner, the left corner. I think he's going to have an important role in the series, and I'll show you guys when or how, why I think that. But, yeah, I feel like this character is going to be like a Joe Sawashiro to Ebina kind of like. Uh, acquaintance and then yeah this guy looks pretty cool but he's not saying so I don't think he's that important <laughs> then we have this guy punching I think this might be Kiryu but it's gonna be a little weird because uh, he's wearing white pants and red belt when Kiryu should be wearing silver pants with black belt. So, yeah, I think this might be Kiryu because, I don't know, if it... Kiryu has a mole or, like, something on his chin. And I think that's it there, but, not, yeah. This might be Kiryu punching some guy to death, but, yeah. <laughs> We missed a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah. So, this is the guy that I was talking about. I heard some people say this is Shimano, and this is the Shimano fight. But, I don't think this guy is Shimano. I think it's that guy from this scene so this guy i think is this guy here but obviously this does look like shimano shimano with his sword but i don't know this doesn't really look like the pier that kiryu and shimano fight on this looks like a different part of kamurocho and like, yeah, you got some, like, Shimano grunts there. But I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't Shimano and this is one of the original characters, which we will get to soon. <laughs> yeah. And then we got this scene, which I think is the Shimano fight. But it's the same guy from the two previous scenes. So this could be just up to speculation. This could be a part where the Nishiki family rebels against, like, the, against the Tojo clan. So, or this could just be the Shimano family and the Kazuma family. But, I think this might be Nishiki. We've got the secondary guy there, and that's the whole Nishiki family. So... There's a lot of speculation that I'm putting up in the air, but then we got a couple shots of the characters. We've got young Nishki, it looks like, with a gun, and I think this scene is the scene where Nishki shoots Dojima. So, 
he like cries for a bit because I'm pretty sure that's what happened in the game. But yeah, this shot could be when Nishiki shoots Dojima. Then we got a nice face, face shot of Kiryu. Uh, he, Ryoma, I think is going to do an excellent job with Kiryu. Like, his expression just screams Kiwami 1 Kiryu. Like, I can just see him, like, pull off one of the renders. But, yeah. This, I think... This part with the Colosseum is going to be set in 1995. And the shots with Nishiki are going to be in 2005. So. I feel like this show is going to evolve around Kiryu becoming the dragon. Post trailer with Kiryu just walking. Now, that's the first bit of uh, info we got. The next piece of info is with Yokoyama talking about the series. So, San Diego Comic Con ni go raijo no mina sama. If you're still wondering, and if no one knows, uh, this whole info is coming out because of San Diego Comic Con. Uh, there was a panel there with Ryoma, uh, Nishiki's actor, and then I think, uh, Hiroki Sakamoto. I think that's his name. But Yokoyama makes a like a appearance in the panel through this video so yeah let's just listen to it konnichiwa ryuga gotoku studio daihyou no yokoyama masayoshi desu ma demo kyoufu shika nakatta desu yo ne yappa shoujiki boku tachi mo eiga o ikkai ya uh if you guys still don't know <laughs> uh film adaptation and yeah like yokoyama would have had a say in it since yeah, he also talks about uh, the Kyorio TV series, so Kyorio mentioned, but also there was another spin off series based around Yakuza 6. Uh, it's the one with the three guys going into like Kamurocho and then wanting to idolize Kiryu and all that. But Yokoyama could be talking about anything. He could be talking about Kodio, the Yakuza 6 thing. But, uh, yeah. He just, he just talks about the different types of Yakuza adaptations. But yeah, biggest fear would be in. Yeah. Yeah. So, Yokoyama's fear is that the TV show would be exactly like the game, which, I'm going to be honest, would be okay, and I would still watch the series, but it's good that they're doing their own original thing, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know if the screenplay means that, like, uh, the, what is it, like, the on the on stage play, but I think he talks about, like, the back, the behind the scenes of this new TV series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so the director, I think the director is very like um, passionate with this story, and like if you're passionate with a st- with a story, I feel like you can make that story like be very good. 
upon every single time you watch it. So I have a lot of faith in the director for like making this a excellent TV. うん、正直言うとすごいなんかしっとしんが生まれるぐらいの出来ではあったんですよね。うん。僕らが20年前に。Yeah, so the so if anyone at Prime Video decides to like leak the entire show, which I doubt it, uh we're just gonna have to wait. Oh Jibun Tachi no Mono Nishte Hanashi Tsukute de Minaga Kampekini Nienjiruto a Kona ni Atara So they casted Ryoma very good. Like, I've seen a couple episodes of Common Rider Drive and uh Ryoma was very good in it. And like yeah. yeah. So he talks about how with this drama they're gonna take the original story and just like expand the living hell out of it. Like expand it even more than that first sequence in Kiwami One where you gotta find Yumi's ring. Like that's how expensive they're going to do it. <laughs> uh, you can see that in the previous trailer with how you saw Nishiki shooting Dojima, or like about to shoot Dojima, Kiryu in the Colosseum, and then a shot of the Millennium Tower. Like, I'm very excited to see what they do. Yeah, エンスサイドの社長のハイリョなのかわからないですけども、随所に龍河ごとくの小ネタのエッセンスが入ってるのが、いや、I、I like uh dojima's wife and kiryu talking but i don't think they'll go out of their way to make majima and togoromi for a bit <laughs> like that's what i'm thinking i don't think they'll do like a lot of goofy moments but yeah i also wonder if this TV show will be canon, maybe it, like I misread something and they said that it isn't, but I really hope that if this is canon, they can like twist it so everything makes sense in the timeline. No, 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 Oh no. Right, uh, Gokudoni is going to have a field day with the TV show once it comes out. Shitterstow.知らない人はただそこに本当にこういう世界があるんじゃないかと思って見れるし、知ってる人は30秒に1回びっくりで。I yeah. know this. I'm grinning as we speak right now like <laughs> I'm very excited whenever we get new info or like watching the show and yeah, I <laughs> I will be grinning like Yokoyama, you, you're like reading my mind. There's a major surprise at the end of episode one. Watch the surprise be like Majima being like, Yo, Kiryucha. And then like, or like, it can be a Kiwami 2 moment or a Yakuza 2 moment where Kiryu's in the Colosseum and then out of fucking nowhere, Majima appears and he's like yo kiryucha let's fight and then they're like yeah you know what i'm getting, <laughs> getting way too fucking excited for this but yeah i do hope this i bet the surprise is going to be something with majima and if it is... <laughs> 
まあ僕自分の部屋で見てたんですけど会社のもう面白いっつって立ち上がっちゃったからうんた時になんかプルプル震えてましたよタバコを吸う喫煙所その後こう行った時にちょっと悔しくてうんぐらいの衝撃はありましたようん素晴らしいなと思いましたうんあの途中で Viewers are going to be frustrated for sure. I don't know what that means. Yokoyama. <laughs> yeah. I. I like. As I talked about, Nishiki not wearing his suit is one of the things that I'm like going to get. That I'm going, ne- going to need to get used to. But other than that, I don't have any other like weird. Things about the show. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if y o えー、と、so, October 25th, when this does come out, I'm just gonna take a sick day and like. I'm just gonna binge the entire show. On the dates of October 25th and October. October 25th and November 1st or 2nd. ごとくの最初の頃、20年前は、この世界観が世界で受け入れられると全く思ってなかったんです。で、割と適当にヤクザっていう。名称をつけてしまったんですよ実は、うん、それは本気で売る気がなかったし理解がされないと思ってた。うん。いや、ネーミングヤクザファースト、I think。I think was a good decision at the time。because。I don't know。maybe if they named it like a dragon。it would sell。but like。Having the game first release it. Having the f- first game released as Yakuza was very good for whatever they wanted to do. でもそれでいいと思ってた。日本人だから。This talks about the worldwide distribution of the drama, so I don't even know what, the, what they're talking about. 作れる日本人だからわかる悪の魅力。そしてまあああいう歌舞伎町をモチーフとしたカムロ町って町を描くことによってその歓楽街で生きる人間たちのドラマを見せたい。これが20年前に僕ら考えた話だったんですね。まあ、20年経った今気づくのがこの世界が世界で受けるんだっていうのが、まあ、ゲームの方のヒットでも分かりますし、まあ、今回のこの作品を見てもこのものすごい国に。うん。うん。Yeah, and talk about it in talk, talk about it. Talk about the so many countries. I hear that they're gonna do dubbing for 30 different languages. And Portuguese Kiryu is probably going to be in there. And if you guys don't remember, I actually did kind of a voice demo for Portuguese Kiryu. But I do hope it is、uh, Portugal Portuguese, not Brazilian Portuguese. So I don't know. Maybe if they do Portugal Portuguese, I might have some competition. <laughs> But yeah, I'm very excited to like, listen to the Portuguese dub of. Uh, this drama and like with the English dub, let's not talk about it because, well, let's talk about it because I i wonder if they're gonna get brand new voice actors to voice the characters in the drama or they're just gonna use the game voice actors, which, uh, <laughs> cough, cough, young y e a moment. Oh no, <laughs> but. Yeah, if if the voice actors are pretty good in the English dub, I might watch it, but I'll definitely be watching like some bits in the Portuguese dub, which of course I'm very excited about. We get Portuguese m a j u r a we get Portuguese k i r i but you know, I'm just going, I'm just yapping. Hi, Shin Sarah, Waki, Jan, this guy. Then, at the Toki, Ni, Ma, I'm a Tami, the Mina San, Ni, Kanji, the Hoshi, Noa. 日本の歓楽街と日本の悪人の人間ドラマはどうですかっていう逆に聞きたい、うん、ぐらいなんですね
すごく僕らにとってもゲーム作ってる僕らにとってもいいなんつうんだろうなテストケースにもなるし、うん、だから一緒になんだろうなこう留学ごとく。この未来ってのを視聴者の方と決めていければ一番幸せなんじゃないかなと思ってます。うん、今回あの桐生和馬を演じていただいた竹内さんとあと錦山明を演じていただいた。正直言うと原作の桐生と錦では全くないです。でもだからいいんですね。あの僕らが20年前に作り出した桐生一馬というキャラクター自身には何も付け足すところもないと僕は思っているので本当にゲームの桐生一馬をどう演じるっていう世界じゃない戦いを彼ら2人はしてくれてるんですね。なので新しい桐生一馬という人間が生まれた瞬間だと思ってますこの作品は。同時に桐生のライバルである錦山明っていう人間が賀来賢人さんによって新しく生み出されたと思っているのでこの2人の演技っていうのはマジで必見だと思います yeah. そして Touched his character arc. So, having this TV show can like really expand on Nishiki's character and make you think, why does Kiryu talk about Nishiki so highly? Like, yeah, because in, yeah, I really hope they do this justice with Nishiki because Nishiki, Nishiki's importance is like way up high when his actual involvement. And like the amount of appearances he has is like zero. <laughs> But yeah, I do hope you guys know what I mean by that. Some of the people who are in the Amazon Prime no drama is not going to be able to do it. I was speaking about how that Shimano lookalike could be one of the original characters. And then there's an original character that is in the s c r e e 特に2人に関係する女性キャストの方まだねこれ言えないですけれどの存在と演技。Yeah. Like, gonna... ってのは。本当にびっくりするというか、うん、あの衝撃的なものになっていると思いますのでぜひサンディエゴコミコンにいらっしゃった、uh, so two, two or 皆様はこの今日皆様の目の前にいる2人だけじゃなくてそれからこれから発表されるキャストにもご注目いただける。You can look forward to hearing about the other people. I'm going to be able to hear the other people. I'm going to be able to hear the other people. So that's it for Yokoyama. Now, if you're an international viewer, that's all the information we get. But the Japanese trailer actually has some way new information. It has like brand new smoking hot information. Which we will go through, and you can see like here、uh, 1 minute 46 when this one is 1 minute 19. So, yeah, let's view、like、immediately you see that the intro is different. 
there's new inf there's new shots. So we saw Kamaroto. So we see Kamaroto with the blue filter. We see Kiryu and Gary Buster Holmes. Gary Gary's back for the TV series. Uh, yeah. We see Mudge, we see Mishki, and then it zooms out from this. Yeah, and I, with this scene, like from the Japanese trailer, I feel like they would, they would tell the story from the gamer's, like, view. That would, that would be so interesting to talk about. Because this has already been done in the Yakuza series with how the Yakuza 6 spin-off show, they had the characters idolize Kiryu. So, I don't know. Maybe this part could be like the gamer. But I seriously doubt it. the new shots we've got uh we've got Kiryu's render and you can see down the bottom he is wearing his red shirt so yeah that's pretty that's pretty cool <laughs> for Nishikiyama him with a gun so like yeah they're gonna I feel like they're gonna mix Jingu's character and Nishiki's character into one like big character <laughs> like one huge character <laughs> Kamurocho. I think. Oh, okay. I spoiled the surprise. We get this. I'm not sure if this was in the original trailer, in the international trailer, but I'm pretty sure this is other Kazuma or Dojima with someone else, which I can't make out who it is. But yeah, or maybe they're taking plot points from different games like. Uh, Yakuza 7 with how the whole Arakawa thing kept, uh, played out in the restaurant. And then we fucking get the first look of Majima. This is the very first thing we see of Majima. And I am genuinely, like, pissed how this wasn't shown in the international trailer. And, like, this is Majima. He's, like... The most famous Yakuza character. If you don't know Dumb and Dunne Guy, you will know Majima. And yeah, Majima, he's got his eye patch, his hair, and then we've got the bat with his name on it. And I don't know what this is, but this could be a second bat that he wields, and he does like a Musashi situation where he dual wields bats. So yeah, his eye patch seems to be like made differently. So, yeah, they're like revamping the character designs and like the outfits. We get this woman. I heard uh, someone on Instagram said this was Yumi, but I'm going to be honest, I forgot about Yumi. And I thought this would be the original female character. So, the original female character that Yokoyama talked about, I feel like this is going to be her. Because I don't remember Yumi having the, uh, the red uh, fingernails. But yeah, she's got a gun there. And, like, the suit skirt. So, I would assume they would make sort of a Sayama type character. But 
of course, this is all speculation. Yeah, I really wonder what they do with this. Will they ditch Yumi being the love interest? Probably not. trailer that would show this and then cut to the post but we get this quote i put this through google translate and it says komorocho komorocho the place uh, it's still a place no one knows about i'll i'll probably do a other video like translating this but yeah, this says Kamurocho, still a place that no one knows about. So I'm very interested in what they do with Kamurocho. <laughs> this just says exclusive, so. That's it. That's all the information we've got. The biggest piece of info we got is probably Nishki's actor. So if we find it, yeah. Kento Taki, I don't know this actor, I don't know them from anywhere. So this is gonna be my first experience with Kento Taku. So I hope he does Nishki justice with, yeah, with the show. I don't know if this behind him is his tattoo, but I think this part here might be the koi. Uh, if we go to Kiryu, I think that might be like flames on his dragon tattoo, but I don't know. Uh, but the news that I'm very excited about is the Majima reveal. They just decided to reveal Majima for the first time. And yeah, when I saw this, this was like uh, maybe an hour ago. I lost my fucking shit because I didn't expect this to be here. And yeah, it's, um, it's Majima. What can I say about it? I'm very excited for him being here in this trailer. and. I'm still, con like, not concerned, but I'm questioning why wouldn't they show this in the international trailer? Majima is, is the most, like, popular character in the series. Like, I honestly don't know why RGG decided not to show Majima in the international trailer. Original female. Like, I would understand this original female character, but it's Majima. It's bloody Majima. Why wouldn't you show him? Like, yeah. That's all I'm thinking about this show already. And I'm blabbering on for like 45 minutes either way. So, yeah. My overall thoughts with this show is like, when I first, like, saw the announcement, I was like, I wasn't that hyped because, well, of course I was hyped, but like, after like a day, I was like, hmm, I need more information. And now this, this, these trailers and these videos actually give me more questions rather than telling me what exists. And I don't know. I don't know if these questions are actually good or bad about the show. But coming from the directors, Yokoyama and the actors, I feel like this is going to be a smash hit for October. And late October, us Yakuza fans are going to eat so much. And like these next uh, two months coming up, 
So we've got August. From September and October, us Yakuza fans are going to eat so much. Because we're going to get a new game announcement in at TGS. And then we have the Yakuza TV show dropping in October. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very excited. But, yeah, I have so many questions that I want to ask. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh... Of course, I will be watching the TV show when it drops. Uh, I won't stream it, of course. But I'm not sure if I will do something like this for all the episodes because I don't have I don't have the time to go frame by frame through each episode. So I hope someone like Gokudoni does that. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. The Colosseum part, I do wonder if they're going to write it like, um, series, but I hope this isn't a huge part of the story. I think it might be, but I, I really don't see Kiryu as the character to just be like, uh, Tatsuya. Like, Kiryu and Tatsuya are completely different characters, and what they do is completely out of the question. So, I do hope they don't write Kiryu as Tatsuya. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I can't wait for the 25th of October. Uh, and, yeah... That's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys uh, soon. Alright. Bye.